Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel? Okay, so how is your divine counterpart feeling about you at this time? Please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it and I appreciate you all being here today as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. All right, guys, so today we have three crystals and three um, tarot decks to choose from. Always keep in mind, too, that these are general readings, okay? So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? Lots of different situations and um, energies do come through in these general readings, okay? So for crystal number one, we have the green fluorite crystal. with the Tarot of the Divine. For crystal number two, we have the Appetite Crystal with the Runic Tarot. And for crystal number three, the Howlite Crystal with the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the green fluorite crystal, and the tarot of the divine, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number one. So today we are asking spirit, how does your twin flame feel? Okay, so let's get a general energy card out. Two. bringer of change and creation of light okay so hmm, big energy here your person's feeling really good um internally they're starting to feel this transformation happening um i feel like they're starting to see more light you know they're starting to see things things are getting lighter easier to integrate into their life um yeah i feel like they're ready for like a big change with the bringer of change here they could be preparing for a big change for some of you uh, preparing for a big change coming through so there might be something your person maybe needs to do to prepare for a big change Hmm, let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number one. How does your twin flame feel? I'm feeling for some of you that has to do about moving. There's a move involved with that big change. Moving like house, you know, like from place to place. Whoa. Ten of cups, first one out. Yeah, they're feeling like they're they're ready for more this is about happily ever after ten of cups you know this is about really having all of the things with you um fulfillment heart fulfillment joy i feel like with the way this imagery is here as well i feel like they're like wanting to like marry you <laughs> okay this is about marriage and family as well but i definitely feel in this reading they're they're thinking about this a lot it kind of looks like there's people on looking there and it almost looks like they're getting married or you know coming together in some sort of union there very nice okay let's see what else for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel six of coins the empress whoa <laughs> six of coins and the empress together so they're wanting to reciprocate toward their divine feminine beautiful energy there absolutely feeling like they're they're wanting to give to you they're wanting to to the to the divine feminine if you're the divine feminine watching um they're wanting to give they're wanting to you know 
invest time energy some really nice energy here first out very nice especially with those two main cards bring her a change creation of light things are getting better easier they're feeling more ready six of wands yeah wow toward victory look at this this is beautiful feeling amazing they are feeling that this is this connection has all the potential in the world um of course it's your twin flame i mean it's your ultimate lover it's the person that you were created with okay um four together as one um so yeah there's definitely a very powerful um feeling with this person of love inside they're wanting to i feel with six of wands it's take action forward toward that victory too okay let's see ten of cups please for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel for crystal number one four of cups yeah so they're wanting to give you a better offer than they have in the past okay they really couldn't offer you much is what i'm getting with this four of cups in the past and they're wanting to offer you more now maybe they weren't reciprocating communication mm. they might have gone silent for some time as well for some of you they were feeling really disappointed in themselves as well feeling like they hurt you someone or for some of you anyway feeling like they hurt you at some point they wanted to say so much and they didn't say it wow <laughs> i love it two of cups yes look at that six of coins two of cups i mean it says it all it's union okay this is ten of cups i was already feeling it here um they're really getting into that union energy so you may be feeling a very positive shift here coming in if things are kind of still or stagnant or you know no communication things like that i feel like that might be coming one of the empress seven of coins so they invested a lot and the tower together so they invested a lot of energy into something that had to end hmm and they're wanting this new beginning because endings bring new beginnings okay so the tower card coming out whatever they were investing their time in needed to end and now they can start fresh with the empress um which is the divine feminine something was taking a lot of a lot of this person's time i feel could be work as well with the seven of coins it could be a job or something like that that had to come to an end could be uh, other things as well but there's something that they were really focused on that's now coming to an end maybe that's why they're able to move forward here with the six of wands let's see six of wands for crystal number one what, how does their twin flame feel how does their twin flame feel i was kind of stumbling over my words right there so i feel like they may do that for somebody um when they try to communicate they may be like kind of unsure what to say or because i was trying to get the words out like and it was like I couldn't barely say it so and someone here having a lot to say so I feel like maybe they for some of you they had a hard time expressing or saying something to you six of wands please how does crystal number one's twin flame feel all right we got the star and the two of swords wow okay perfect so the decision is made to move forward okay this was a lot of hope and healing they never gave up okay they never ever gave up on this connection they knew you were the one for them you're the the star the light at the end of the tunnel um a beautiful absolutely beautiful being that they can't see themselves without um, two of swords they definitely are deciding here to move forward 
is what I feel there. That's what that decision is coming out on that six of wands. Moving to forward toward victory with their empress. Um, their star, you, the divine feminine. Let's get oracle cards here to further clarify. Crystal number one, how does their twin flame feel? So I feel like your person has been really doing a lot of work on themselves, on their life. That's why the creation of light, bringer of light, a uh, bringer of change is a big change coming because they've been putting a lot of effort into something. A lot of effort into something here with the seven of coin. Wow. Yeah, see, I told you, they're feeling really happy. On the inside, they're really shining. Um, bliss is, is out here. So I feel like this person, your, your divine counterpart, has gotten to a point of that blissful feeling, high vibrational energy of love, joy. And now they're more in alignment to come together. Let's get more for crystal number one. How does their twin flame feel? We have two, I think. Yep. Okay. Time. Oh, and twin flames, huh? Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So they may feel that you might be trying too hard to do something or to accomplish something in this connection. You may be um, still maybe a little bit in that push energy for some of you. Um, you know, fear, maybe that they're not going to stick around or something like that. There could be a little bit of fear and maybe you're trying too hard Um like I said, a little bit of push energy I'm getting there. And then we have the Twin Flame card. Um, your passion ignites though, okay? So I think the message, obviously if you're here, you're thinking this is your Twin Flame, this could be confirmation if you're unsure or if you're doubting. But I feel the big message here is that your passion is igniting. Things are starting to amp up. The energy is shifting. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number one, how does their twin flame feel? Self-worth, nice. So they've really, again, worked on themselves, okay? What I'm feeling with this card. They've really worked on themselves and they're feeling better about themselves. They may have had self-worth issues in the past and now they're working through it. So that's good. Or they've worked through it. Honestly, I feel like it's, past tense with these energies here i feel like they've already worked through it and of course no one's ever fully healed okay so don't ever think that you have to be uh perfect there's no such thing as perfection um the star energy is about healing hope and healing um as well so i feel like this person could still be working through some okay um but i feel like for a lot of you this is like kind of past tense a little bit they've already put a lot of work in um, maybe to themselves and to maybe another situation as well because this energy here could also be um, internal stuff okay the tower meaning something has to end like self-limiting beliefs you know I'm not worthy things like that you know negative thought patterns things like that shine look at that yeah see blissful sun energy okay new moon in leo i'm called to say so that must mean something for someone you're a leo your person's a leo um shine so beautiful high vibrational energy they're feeling really really good this is a good time to have faith and hope and you know just feel good yourself and then you can align together beautiful Let's see what else. How does crystal number one's twin flame feel? How does crystal number one's twin flame feel? Let it go. Yeah, so whatever they're letting go of, whatever has to end here, they're ready, okay? 
they're letting it go they're like it needs to end whatever it is okay because it could be a lot of different things self-limiting beliefs coming through a job coming through could be a relationship for some of them as well whatever it is for your person they're ready to let it go which is kind of like what I was feeling with that ready for a big change okay this is a sudden big change when the tower comes in Okay, let's get more for crystal number one. That was fast. <laughs> I didn't even get to really ask. And this little guy flew. Oh, he flew out. It's a hawk. He's fast. Okay, moving fast. Let spirit be your guide. Hmm, so they're tapped in. Yes, following signs, synchronicities, listening to angel messages. When they get them, they are investigating them. So in other words, looking them up, seeing what they mean, and trying to decipher what they need to do. Mm. Yeah, they're really tapped in. Really, really tapped in. Probably spend a lot of time alone if they're not with you or, you know, maybe in a different situation. They probably spend a lot of time alone really working on self. Yeah. The answers are within. Yeah, I was just saying, basically taking time to look within. All right, so they are looking within. Exactly what I was just feeling with this card here. So they are taking the time to see how they're feeling, what's going on. They're really tapping into their own inner wisdom and finding answers there. Listening to their guides. Angel of love. Yeah, they're feeling this deep, powerful love. I feel like um, heart chakra here with this card. I feel like there's a heart chakra like activation. Mm. You, Yeah, you definitely could be feeling that too, divine feminine, if you're the divine feminine. But I'm feeling like this is divine masculine, um, heart chakra could be activation clearing you know energy work things like that going on yeah i feel like chakra clearing or something like that mm. let's get more how does crystal number one's twin flame feel how does crystal thank you to the sea yep ready to move forward this to me is like the six of swords energy the universe could certainly be helping you both out as well to move forward um toward you know your new start toward beautiful heart fulfillment bliss joy very nice let's get more that was fast <laughs> Free spirit, yeah. So they feel that you are a free spirit. They are a free spirit. And that together, you can just live an authentic, beautiful life. You know, um, free of fear and, you know, conflict and all of that stuff. Just love, you know, like really just loving one another for who you are. Very nice. Loving each other as you are. Beautiful. How does crystal number one's twin flame feel? So I feel like they're feeling a lot of um, love for you in their heart. They're feeling a lot of um, pull to do something, move forward, things like that. Simplicity, yeah. So they want it to go back to simple times and feather for someone. White feather coming through. Opportunity. They don't want this opportunity to pass them by. Okay, so wanting to really move toward this victory and claim it, you know, claim that victory together. Let's get one of these for crystal number one. How does their twin flame feel? Honesty is essential. Mm, speaking feelings oh yeah someone that had a lot to say and then my throat right 
kind of clogged up a little bit. Oh, you might not have known because I paused the video. <laughs> but I might not have even said it. I don't know. But yeah, someone um, having a lot to say could be about their feelings. Honesty is essential. Really wanting to speak with love and truth. Okay, so expect some communication that came through here as well. Yeah, a lot came through on that Four of Cups card. Communication, um, truth, and honesty. So that's good. What else for crystal number one? Before I even asked, I already had the cards out. Spirit knows what I need. Oh, beautiful. Love it. The littlest blessing and into your arms. Oh, I love it so much. Yes. So coming together, really wanting closeness, wanting to hold you in their arms and be together. Communication as well, that little baby owl between um, the two little creatures here. Very cute. Um, but littlest blessing, also feeling very grateful for you, okay? Grateful for you and this love. Beautiful. All right, let's get message cards for crystal number one. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. I forgot. There was two more cards I wanted to do today. I was feeling drawn to these decks. I rarely use them, but I do use them in a lot of private readings for Twin Flames. So I do want to use them here today. Earth Pulsing. Pulse of the Mother, Slow Down, Time and Nature. Mm. So they could be feeling a pull to nature. They could be meditating in nature. Also for some of you that's kind of that going inward I I feel like this person is very much a nature lover and they do like that calm peaceful serenity of a river flowing hmm that I feel was pretty specific to someone hmm interesting so someone feeling very drawn to river so maybe they they like to be on the river they do things on the river they you know maybe I don't know what people really do on rivers you know what I mean but like boat or you know fish or whatever it is um someone feeling really drawn to that at this time and I feel like they're meditating um as well in nature all right and let's see what else. See, I, I was drawn to this deck. I feel like that specific message might be for someone very important. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Wow, see? Letting it go. What did I say? They were ready to let it go. It came through. This tower, whatever it is, they're ready to see it, you know, go away. <laughs> Leave their life. They're okay with that. They're, they're accepting it. They're moving forward. And now we can get message cards. I knew I was like, wait, did I forget a card? I'm so glad because I was drawn to these two for this reading today. Let's get some message cards for crystal number one from their twin flame, please. What would their twin flame like to say to them today? What would crystal number one's twin flame like to say to them today, please? There we go. We have a flipper. I am hopelessly devoted to you. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is really wanting marriage um, with you. Falling right over the Ten of Cups there as well. Crystal number one, what would their twin flame like to say to them today, please? I want to share my life with you. <laughs> it doesn't want to fall out, but I want to share my life with you. Yeah. Another message of long term. I definitely feel like, again, your person loves you. This is your twin flame. This is who you meant to be with. You know, um, I mean, obviously, we have to choose union. We have to choose it. Even we can't choose negativity. We have to choose togetherness and love, right? So I feel like this person definitely does choose that. There's I want you, sorry, there's two and my hands are full with the deck here. I want you and I feel like we are on top of the world when we are together. So feeling very joyful and blissful when you do spend time. And they definitely do want you. 
What else for crystal number one? Please never doubt my feelings for you. They are real and true. Okay, so for those, uh, anyone doubting. What else with crystal number one's twin flame? Like to say today, please. No one loves me like you do. Beautiful. Yeah, very special love. Special love. They feel it. They know. That was fast. I lie awake at night wishing you were next to me. Yeah, so even if you're in separation right now and not with your twin flame, then they're still wanting you right next to them. I feel like they're thinking you're there. They're feeling your energy. Woo! <laughs> that one almost went flying. I am working. I am looking. Sorry. I am looking forward to starting over with a clean slate. Okay, so definitely wanting to wipe the slate clean, start fresh and new, you know, any hurts or anything that you felt disappointed for in the past, they're hoping to leave it behind and just start new. All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the appetite crystal, and the runic tarot this will be your reading okay crystal number two so today we are asking spirit how does your twin flame feel okay so let's see how your divine counterpart is feeling about you the situation at this time how is crystal number two's twin flame feeling make a wish nice so they're wishing for change transformation things to get better you know they're wishing on a star you are a wish come true wow lots of messages coming through there your wish come true wishing on a star i feel like this person might be uh spending a lot of time outdoors at night okay let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number two how does your twin flame feel i am so excited to be using this deck today <laughs> this was a gift to me for all the hard work I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I really like this tarot. I was like, I love the imagery on it. So beautiful. So I'm excited to use this for you guys today. First time on the channel. How does crystal number two's twin flame feel, please? They're definitely wishing for a new, <laughs> new start, as I was saying that. Something new, something fresh. Ace of Wands, beautiful. Okay, so they're very, very passionate about you too. I feel like their passion is on high here. Really burning up inside here. Really longing and yearning for your touch. Wow, powerful. We got some busy uh, people here. Death, yeah, something coming to an end. So there's something ending for this person. Okay, with the death card here. Um, yeah, lots of passion coming through. Lots of messages. I feel like there's a very um, big collective of masculines here. <laughs> Could be for a lot of different people viewing this as well. So always keep in mind general reading. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Those two black cats here are really standing out to me too. Green eyes, black cat's green eyes, beautiful. They are standing out very much to me here. So that could be something for someone. Sign or something. Crystal number two, how does their twin flame feel? Ten, yeah, ten of pentacles, wow. Wow, 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 okay. So they're feeling like they're ready for all of the things okay this is a beautiful happily ever after energy um you know having the home the family uh, you know everything they've been wishing for i feel like you're their dream come true so they, i feel like they're feeling this energy very powerfully and there's a, a big missing you going on here with this ace of wands keeps coming through they're longing and yearning seven of cups so there's some sort of an emotional choice 
Um, it's needing to be made or that is being made. Hmm. Yeah, it could be a choice that has to happen here. Let's see. We'll get more with the clarifiers as to what that is. Nothing really coming through. An emotional choice. Some sort of choice that needs to be made, but not exactly sure what. So you might know for your person, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, please. I feel like something about intuition here with this person too. Um, yeah, I don't know. Their intuition, something about their intuition coming through. Ten, yeah, they just know you're the person. They know you're the twin flame. They might not know the um, label. But they definitely know you're the person. Ten of Cups, this is beautiful. I can't even get over this. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> Big. So this is complete heart fulfillment. Like I said, you make their wishes come true. You're really, um, there's something going on here though. Oops, with this Death card and the Seven of Cups. Something here. Um, that could be maybe blocking this from happening. But they're really feeling that pull toward their what their heart desires okay they desire you divine feminine if you are the divine feminine watching um yeah wow deep desire here okay let's see why the death card for crystal number two seven of pentacles mm, so something they've been investing in um having to end can I get more? What is this death card? What is this? What are they investing? What were they investing in that has to end? Whatever they were investing in has to end. I feel like with, especially with this arrow, um, this rune here that's coming up on the card, pointing upward toward the death card. So I feel like something that they've been spending time working on in the past needs to end. So let's see. Can I get one more on that, please? death card and seven of pentacles what is this here justice okay yeah so it could have been a relationship or a marriage um that they were working on in the past maybe they tried to make something work in their life and they're just realizing that you know it has to end um there is no forward from here you know so it just has to come to an end they've put enough work into it they've tried yeah, I've really tried, I heard. So they've really tried to make something work in their life, okay? And they're realizing that that is not their soul path. That's why it's not working, you know? It's just not where their soul longs to be. Ten of Pentacles. So justice, um, it, it might not be that your person is married or in a situation either. This could also, or a relationship, I mean, this could also be indicating um, with the seven of pentacles, they put a lot of work into, even if it was a job, let's say, okay. And then they're moving from that job into a different job that's more you know, like giving them more of what they deserve, you know, giving them more money or whatever it is that they're lacking in whatever it is that they were working on. Okay. Um, so if it was a relationship, I feel like it was lacking love. If it was a job, I feel like it was, it was lacking passion or money or, you know, something where it just wasn't working out. 10 of pentacles, please for crystal number two. Wow, <laughs> man, they are feeling it. Yeah, seriously, I feel like they are acting as if with this card as well. The lovers, he's sitting here and she's right behind him. Um, it's almost like he just feels her no matter what, okay, um, is what I'm feeling there. So he feels, uh, you know, and I say he, divine masculine, divine feminine is not about gender, okay? But I feel like Divine Masculine here is feeling Divine Feminine's presence even when Divine Feminine isn't present, okay? Really being hopeful for the future. That rainbow right above her as well. See the rainbow there, right? Making that wish. Looking up at the, star the stars and the sky. 
So really wishing for this happily ever after to come in and feeling like it has is what I feel like, you know, I feel like they feel this beautiful energy anytime they think of you. Look at this. Ten of, I mean, this is crazy. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Lovers. This is huge. Um, and now we have the Two of Wands out on the Seven. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling like Spirit doesn't want us to know what this choice is. Because this is another card about making a choice. This is kind of like planning too though. Planning next steps. So what I feel with this card coming out on the Seven of Cups is that maybe they're planning next steps to making that emotional choice. Okay, so whatever that emotional choice is for your person, they're taking time to like evaluate things okay let's get oracle cards out here for crystal number two how does their twin flame feel flow yes love it love it love it okay they want to be in flow energy so they're working their way into universal flow energy. They could be trying to manifest you at this time as well. Okay, really focusing on what did I say here? Acting as if, right? So they're they're putting themselves into the energy that they would. Okay, they're feeling the emotion. Okay, <laughs> how do I word this? They're feeling the emotion. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Lovers, as if you're right there with them. So it's raising their vibration into that flow state. So this is really, really good. Crystal number two, okay? This is really, really good. Let's see what else for crystal number two. That was fast, okay. We got two that flew out back to back. Bam, bam. Okay, so we have, I can show both of them. Okay, <laughs> I'm just making sure with the imagery. Um, the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith yep that's what's going on here right you know it's releasing something whatever it is job whatever it is releasing it and moving on to the new path okay and only time will tell so again could be assessing the situation taking their time with it okay um really feeling great is what I feel, feeling hopeful, acting as if, feeling in flow. So this is good. All right, let's see what else for crystal number two. What is their twin flame feeling? How is their twin flame feeling? We have two again. Got a lot of twos so far, two and two. Ooh, whoa, divorce and taking action, whoa. Well, yeah, it definitely came through here for some of you. I do feel like this person could be married, getting a divorce, um, taking action though. So there's that action, right? This could be this right here. Okay. Those two, especially those two coming out together, taking action, divorce. Let's see if we can fit all of these here. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, your person, if they are in a relationship and if they're not married, this could mean that, you know, breakup of some sort, if they're in a relationship, um, you have to kind of fit it into your situation. Um, because obviously not everyone has a twin flame that's married, but they may have one that has a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Or a boyfriend. Um, you know, so you have to kind of fit it to your situation. Let's see what else. How is that was fast. I didn't even get the question out and the card flew out. Full moon in Gemini. Ooh, embrace the flow of life. Hmm. Again, flow energy. So they're feeling very good. This is amazing. They're feeling amazing. Because when you're in flow, you're at peace. You're at peace. You feel good no matter what. No matter what's going on outside, you feel okay. 
and then you just take things as it comes you live in the now you live in the present moment and you just feel good and you visualize the future that you desire right that's what I feel somebody here is doing all right let's get more how does crystal number two's twin flame feel we have uh, sacred reverence wow okay yeah so sacred reverence is one of the top twin flame cards for me as a reader in this deck okay you hold the key to their heart they love you okay and they know with this card i feel like this is saying they know the depth of this connection and for you out there anyone out there who might be doubting that you you know this is your twin flame this could be a confirmation for you as well with this card coming through but this person feeling that love okay knowing that you are the one for them they may not know the label twin flame and that's okay because that's all it is is a label for a type of energetic connection soul connection it doesn't matter if they don't know the name of it they feel the depth of the love that's what matters all right let's get more for crystal number two badger spirit be fearless and bold yes they're feeling good i'm telling you oh my goodness they are starting to rise above fear they're starting to take bold action this is really really good really good badger number four also being called out there number four joy and delight open your heart to joy so they're opening their heart yes love it yeah they're really um focused on their happiness now is what i feel they're feeling like that is the most important thing at this point in time is their happiness mm, very very nice I feel like you make their wishes come true and they want to make yours come true as well. Whoa, <laughs> root chakra, ah, okay. Yeah, see, now they're being fearless and bold. So they've healed their root chakra. Kind of like how it came out sideways a little bit. Um, so they could be, that could be a little bit of something they're working on still, the fearless and bold. But I do feel like a lot of work has been done in that area with the root chakra coming out. The first chakra with Archangel Michael, okay, um, also coming through. Very, very powerful um, feeling of healing here. Okay, so they, they've been doing that work, which is good. All right, let's get more for crystal number two. How does a twin flame feel for crystal number two? Fork in the road. Mm, yeah, so that's that decision, okay? Um, another energy of that. So they, for some of you, they definitely are assessing a situation and choosing a path, okay? I feel like past and future um, could be, you know, the choice that they're making leaving this in the past and moving to this in the future because we had that message here um on this card as well let's get one of these for crystal number two how does their twin flame feel Ooh, re-energize yeah see and there were oh there's two there actually they're stuck together Ooh, and i'm dropping it recognition and re-energize oh wow I only thought it was one um recognition and re-energize so yeah see there's that that kind of inner knowing that i felt here uh, they know that you're their person okay and they're looking to re-energize the connection they're really feeling like i said that passion that pull that yearning for closeness very very much very powerful okay let's get more for crystal number two is that the ones i guess so courage and purification okay they came out like all i did was split the deck to start shuffling and they fell right off the bottom there so 
I don't believe in coincidences. I, I, I usually can tell, like, I feel like, no, those aren't the ones. That's just me being messy, but, or dropping stuff. But no, these, yeah, courage and purification. So they are, they're gaining courage and they're purifying their energy, really working on self. So this is good because that, that will allow the energy to continue being in flow. Okay, not blocked by negativity or any of that stuff. So that's good. Very good. All right, let's get one of these as well for crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel? We have relationship patterns. Okay, so they might feel, and what was this one? Okay. Be in the present and dream of the future. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because that's what they're doing. They're being in the present and dreaming of the future. Spirit telling me to take that one from the bottom of the deck. Relationship patterns. Um, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. Yeah, see, this person has recognized that need and now they're planning. They're assessing a situation, okay? Um, and be in the present and dream of the future was exactly what I was feeling here. So it's another confirmation of living in the present moment but feeling that emotion as if what you desire is already there this here this lover's card really speaking of that really co-creating with the universe there okay where else that was fast too sorry these cards there's so many okay to watch over you, your guardian angels, okay? Archangel Michael coming through right here in this reading, right? So your angels are watching over you and this person as well. Very divinely guided. Um, you know, have faith. Have faith, okay? Now these cards here, I was very drawn. I'll tell you like I did crystal number one. I was very drawn to using them. I almost forgot on crystal number one because um, I rarely do use them. But I do use them in private readings a lot for Twin Flames, um, usually full readings because there's a lot of cards. But um, I did feel pulled to pull, like use these today. So I feel like there's important messages coming through. Big picture thinking. Oh, yeah, you're not kidding. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, like big picture thinking. Yeah, so they're feeling like future here, okay? They're feeling the future. Very having inspired ideas too. Which could be while they're trying to plan something here. Okay, and let's get one of these as well for crystal number two. Thank you. Breaking the chain. Ah yeah, breaking free of something that they were feeling bound to ancestral patterns yes so they could have been feeling stuck in a situation because of a belief system of some sort rewriting the future wow i love that okay very good so they are planning on rewriting the future they're feeling very strong and empowered mm, breaking patterns too could be in this situation here something that they were feeling bound to breaking free of something they were feeling bound to is what came through immediately and then ancestral patterns so it could have been you know like i don't know some sort of a family type of belief system um or pattern of behavior in a family and they felt like they were stuck Okay, we're going to get some message cards for you now for crystal number two. What would their twin flame like to say to them, please? What would crystal number two's twin flame like to say to them? You're so hot. Oh my gosh, look at where it's falling. <laughs> right on the flames over here. You're so hot with three flames, okay? Very attracted to you. Yes, they are very attracted to you. Extremely. There's a lot of desire. I can't explain what I feel when I look in your eyes. Yeah, recognition coming through earlier, right? They do, they know. This person knows. Even if you think they might not know, they know. <laughs> 
And remember, thoughts are powerful. So, ooh, dropping them. We have two here. I will be honored to share my last name with you. Look where it's falling, right on the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, that's all of, it's an abundance of all of the things, okay? Money, love, you know, just all of the things. The home, the cars, the kids, the dogs, whatever, you know, whatever you guys all want, you know? Um, but that's everything. I will be honored to share my last name with you. So they're really looking toward the future and wanting marriage. Please be patient and don't forget about the love we share. Look where that one's falling, right on top of the Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, some sort of a choice that needs to be made. Please be patient. Okay, let's get more. My pet. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better. This is so amazing that this came through. This came through on the Ace of Wands already. My passion and desire for you is burning hot and it's falling over the Ten of Cups. So their love for you as well is just boiling over. Wow. Very powerful. I want to share my life with you. Beautiful. Yep. Definitely looking at long term. I mean, big picture right here. Um, you know, all those, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, so many beautiful energies. How does crystal number tw two's twin flame feel? What do they like to say? The thought of losing you kills me. Mm, oh, wow. Look at that. Falling over the lovers. Yeah, the thought of losing you is not a pleasant thought at all. Sometimes I feel I have ruined everything. Oh, falling over that choice again and the patience. This person feels like they may have ruined everything at some point, okay? And this might be something that's a passing, you know, thing now because they've really like worked through a lot of things, but they are feeling that, you know, maybe they've ruined everything with you. And that might just be for some of you as well, but all right, crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the Howlite crystal, and the Light Seer's Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel? Okay, so let's see for crystal number three, how does their twin flame feel? Ooh, two of them. Okay. We have, whoops. We have Memories of the Forgotten Self and Foxfire. Hmm. So they are feeling the depth of this connection, knowing that you shared past lives together, knowing that it's, this is a deep soul bond. Also feeling like they're feeling um, very nostalgic about this connection, really looking back on the memories that you share together, um, conversations, things like that as well. Uh, Foxfire, extremely passionate, um, feeling very magnetized is what I'm feeling there. Very magnetized to you. So they're wanting, ooh, <laughs> they're wanting um, closeness, physical closeness, okay, is what I'm feeling. I didn't leave space for two cards up there when I moved that. That's all right. All right, crystal number two. Oh, no, not two. Oh, my gosh. Crystal number three. No, we're going to do that again. Okay, crystal number three, please. That card really wanted to fly out. Eight of Swords, releasing the binds. Hmm. Someone could have been stuck in negativity or stuck in some sort of situation. But they're releasing the binds now. They're wanting to move past it. Hmm. Okay. We'll get, we'll get more with the clarifiers. Crystal number three, please. How does their twin flame feel? How does crystal number three's twin flame feel? They're definitely feeling magnetized to you. They're feeling a lot of passion and desire for you. Ace of Swords. So they gain some sort of clarity. They've had some sort of an epiphany moment 
some sort of a bright idea. Hmm, could be about this breaking free. Overcoming this thought pattern or something like that. Let's see what else for crystal number three. How does their twin flame feel? Whoa, king of wands. Yeah, super passionate. They know what they want. They know they want you, divine feminine. Okay, they know that they, you know, they have to take action. They have to do something here. They have to be courageous. They have to be strong. Something else? Nope, that's it. Okay. <laughs> strong, courageous. They have to be strong. They have to be courageous. They have to take action. Um, so they might have been feeling like, I don't know, like feeling like maybe they were just feeling stuck at some point, you know, like feeling unsure about what to do next is kind of what I'm getting. Because now that that could be exactly it, actually, because they gain that clarity and now they know they have to do something. They have to take action. They have to, you know, work toward this, move toward this, you know, um, really take inspired action. So like what is, oh, finally, I, I was like just starting to reshuffle again and then a card finally flew out. Um, what? finally like realizing that they had to take some sort of inspired action mm. the high priestess um yeah i thought there was something else there the high priestess so their intuition yeah, very, very powerful intuition. I'm feeling like this person is very, very much spiritual. Very connected to source energy. Um, yeah, I feel like they're like manifesting you here with this. I don't even know why, I just do. Um, they're manifesting some sort of change that their intuition has really been pointing them uh, in the direction of, right? So making some sort of choice or something to do with moving forward. They've gained clarity though. So that, that's probably how they've gained some clarity. They quieted the mind. Mm, breaking free. There was some sort of limiting belief or, you know, I don't know. It could be a lot of different things. They broke free from something. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see. Why the Eight of Swords? Why this Eight of Swords? Whoa. I almost fell on the floor. We have two. Breaking free. Hmm. So, Universe could be helping out with the Wheel of Fortune. This is about kind of luck and karma. Uh, moving forward, things are moving. Yeah, momentum. They've gained some sort of momentum. Moving toward victory. So they know they have to break free of something. They're realizing this now. They know they have to break free from whatever this is, okay? Self-limiting beliefs, uh, you know, overthinking, whatever the case may be. They're feeling that pull to release it, okay? Um, because they're really feeling like they could have a victory here. This could be a good thing if they would just release whatever this is. Okay. Let it go and allow the universe to help with that momentum. Move this forward. I definitely feel like they've had some sort of an idea for some inspired action though. With that King of Wands. And this idea from this Ace of Swords. This clarity. So they gained clarity while, you know, really tapping into source, okay, with being the high priestess, their intuition. Let's see, Ace of Swords, please. Why, why the Ace of Swords? That one fell. Give me one second. Okay, we have Ten of Pentacles. So they know now, they have clarity that what they want is long-term with you. They have clarity 
that this is like the happily ever after card okay it's an abundance of love an abundance of wealth prosperity um yeah just family long term marriage you know it's it's a very very long term solid foundations type of card okay uh type of energy there so they have this clarity that this is what they desire and now they're realizing they have to take some sort of inspired action to get there okay so let's see the king of wands what is this inspired action we have knight of pentacles page of swords so moving slowly looking at the fine print could be learning something too in the process Hmm. So they could be learning something that's allowing them to break free from whatever this is. It could be, you know, a different belief, right? <laughs> they could be realizing that, you know, oh, wow, you know, proof that that wasn't really a good belief to have or, you know, something like that. They could have really healed themselves too. Um, whatever these beliefs were, they could have really, you know, healed some of those things and learned about themselves, you know, um, with this page of swords, but something about looking at the fine details and moving slowly. So I feel like they want to rush in with the King of Wands for sure. And the Foxfire card, but it's almost like they know better <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. It's like they know the best approach is probably the slow and steady approach but they know what they want okay they do know and they are taking inspired action so that is good high priestess why the high priestess for crystal number three we have two here again queen and whoa queen of wands emperor wow okay um whew. yeah they're passionate so queen and king on the board too a, a divine couple yeah they want to be together intuitively they know that you know you're the person right you're the one that they want to be with for the long term um there's definitely fine details strategy oh yeah, so they're looking at the fine details of something and planning something strategically. Hmm. And they are very passionate about you. Um, extremely passionate. You are. What did I say with this card here? Right? Foxfire, magnetic. This is the magnetic energy I was talking about. Queen of Wands, very confident, beautiful standing in her power knowing what she deserves you know not accepting less than that very enthusiastic as well very very your, your light is shining so so brightly like i feel like the emperor should have sunglasses on like literally i'm not even joking okay your light is just so bright to this person your divine masculine it's like poof like really okay so they are super super excited about you um and this situation moving forward and really wanting um, long term this movement forward I feel could also be like I said something like with divine help you know there's momentum so that's a good thing um, but anyway yeah so the emperor here knows okay with the high priestess definitely knows tapped into his intuition and I say his because he's a man in the card but divine masculine does not have to be a male it could be a female so you know your divine masculine so whoever your divine masculine is male female doesn't matter because we all embody both energies um they are very passionate they're wanting to move forward and they just know they know you're the one they may even know that you're twin flames okay they may not know the label but they do feel i feel that they feel that soul bond okay we have two again we have so many two cards two 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 and two 
So the first one here, tending the garden. So they are making some sort of, you know, plan or they're taking some sort of action, that inspired action. Could be slowly with the Knight of Pentacles there, but they are doing it. And then, ooh, flow. We have flow energy. Good. This is very good. So this is working with the universe, okay? Really getting into that flow state and allowing things to unfold. Taking inspired action when necessary, but not trying to force or control the situation. Okay, let's get more for crystal number three. How does their twin flame feel? How does their twin flame feel? For crystal number three, please. We have two. Two again, really? Well, one is the twin flame card, which is, you know, again, if it's you're unsure if it's your twin flame sometimes spirit will send these through just to let you know you know give you some sort of confirmation but also the message is your passion ignites so passion all over the place here guys so yeah it's lighting up all right and then this one i'm not sure so i'm just going to show you the back here it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself so your person could be working on something in solitude not with you with them not even talking to you about it maybe okay they're really focused on you and they're really focused on tending that future but they whatever they might be working on could be something else in their life okay so this is saying that they you know they're feeling the need to address whatever that is what else for crystal number three how does their twin flame feel we got one sad why are they sad they might be missing you mm. i feel like they're missing you yeah we'll see if more of that comes out i definitely feel like they could be missing you um if they're not, you know, in your vicinity, attend, oh my gosh, attending to the details. <laughs> another card, another confirmation. Um, yeah, for some of you, it could be that they're just missing you um, because they, they are feeling very magnetized and pulled to you. But I feel like there's something here that they're working on. They are attending to the details. And that could be why it's following sad out as well. Okay, because this is what's making things slow. And it's maybe making them sad too. Like it might make you sad that it's slow, but for them it's doing the same. A tender embrace, beautiful. Yeah, there was definitely that want for intimacy, closeness. So they're feeling that pull to be next to you. Very nice. Crystal number three, how does their twin flame feel? There's two, I think. <laughs> we got so many of these with two, yeah. Starfish and electric eel. Open to infinite possibility and bring your ideas to life. Ha ha. Look at the idea. Right? Idea. Happily ever after. Bring your ideas to life. Beautiful synchronicity, synchronicity in that message there, okay? Um, open to infinite possibilities. So they see the potential for the future, okay? With you, this connection, like I said, they may not know the term, but they definitely feel the bond. They feel the depth of that love. That desire is, you know, off the charts. They're feeling very magnetized to you. Queen of Wands over there. Strutting your stuff. Shining your light. And what else? First light. <laughs> That's funny. I just like how I just said shining your light and then it flipped and it was like first light. You're like the first light. Beginning a new cycle. Nice. So yeah, they are ready to begin a new cycle. They're feeling that, that newness, that want to start fresh, you know, and really get things moving in a positive direction. Wow. Get things moving in a positive direction. Yeah, could have been at a standstill for a bit too. Like 
it's for some of you slow for sure and it might still be but I feel like for some of you this may have at some point in time been at quite a standstill with that message there on first light what else for crystal number three how does a twin flame feel whoa <laughs> that one really rocket shipped out and it is the magician and the mirror so this is about manifestation and this is also another top twin flame card in this deck okay so we have the twin flame there and this one as well if you're you know in case you're unsure this is spirit you know kind of giving you that confirmation magician in the mirror is really a card about manifestation which is kind of what i was feeling this person was doing on that high priestess okay so they're trying to manifest you into their life they're really working with source energy really tapped in tapped in turned on tuned in however you want to say it but they are working with the universe here co-creating be funny if that card flew out right now from this deck i think this is the deck that has that card actually and i just said those words so that's weird if it would fly out crystal number three nope here and now here and now and chop wood okay <laughs> i was like what another one followed that one out so i was like oh my goodness i thought it was going to be the the create co-create one but here and now chopped wood okay so this person wants to leave the past behind move forward to that future and really work hard at it okay with chopped wood coming out with it they're really wanting to put the work in to get there very nice what else for crystal number three how is their twin flame feeling communication so they want to talk they want to communicate um there may have been a lack of communication for some of you and they're really wanting to start communicating um, more effectively with you so for some of you i feel like there was no there was a lack like a stop no communication nothing like a no contact patience yeah that one's what what flew out right after communication so i feel like and i was just feeling that for some of you it's a lack of communication in the past and they're wanting to increase that now. What else for crystal number three? How does their twin flame feel? Demonstrate love and express love through gifts. So this could be that they are planning to express their love and demonstrate their love through a gift um, of some sort. A small token of love can convey great appreciation so they do appreciate you they feel very appreciative to have you in their life and i feel like they're wanting to you know maybe come forward with a little token of love there very nice what else for crystal number three honor your holy days yeah nice so yeah they've really spent a lot of time increasing their own self-love which is good um, and they feel like you are very self-loving as well uh, you take good care of yourself you're shining so brightly so i feel like you've really risen in your power um, this person has risen in theirs as well with this emperor out and king of wands very very powerful energy this person embodies um and yeah through self-love okay they're honoring their holy days that's taking time for themselves right we had that card here with taking time for themselves and knowing that it's okay to do that okay these cards here i almost forgot them for crystal number one but i do use them occasionally in um, private readings for twin flames usually full private readings um but i i rarely get to using them on the channel so i I, I was drawn to them today though so we are pulling from these decks today for crystal number three how does their twin flame feel lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go wow yeah so whatever this is anything unaligned must go okay 
So they are feeling that pull again to get into alignment and be in alignment with you, Divine Feminine, okay? So that is a very big message there. And that's exactly like the High Priestess, you know? Very, very tapped in, like I said. Okay, let's get one of these and then I'm getting you some message cards out. For crystal number three, please. How does their twin flame feel? Crystal number three. How does the NQ? Mm, we got two stuck together there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Priestess. Okay. And warrior woman. Love it. Have you answered your deepest calling? And priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? What did I say? They're feeling that pull, right? They're feeling that pull to take inspired action. Be that warrior. Be strong and courageous. Take action towards your dreams. Okay, so and priestess being, you know, very intuitive and knowing deep within. Beautiful. All right, let's get some message cards for crystal number three. What would their twin flame like to say to them today, please? For crystal number three, we have the first one flipping. No one loves me like you do. No one loves me like you do. So it's very special, the love that they feel from you. They know it's different. You know, they know that this is special. You make me feel so young and alive. Feeling very joyful, blissful, inner child happiness there. What else for crystal number three? Whoa, caught it. <laughs> Please never doubt my feelings for you. They are real and true. Okay, so for some of you out there, you may be doubting their feelings. They're hoping that you won't doubt them any longer. Their feelings are very real and true. Your twin flame always loves you. Regardless of what it looks like in the 3D. This is at the soul level. Okay. I have never felt this way in my entire life. Wow. Yeah. Again, knowing how special it is. I miss you so much it hurts. Aha, yeah, there's that sad, right? Why are they sad? Well, that is why. It, it is because they miss you. And it's because, like I said, I feel like it's something to do with, you know, maybe whatever it is that's a little bit slow. They feel like they're disappointing you or, you know, that it's taking a while. They miss you too, you know? They miss you, but they know that they're trying to get there. I'm sorry if I hurt you. That was never my intention. See? Yeah, yo, your twin flame will never intentionally hurt you. Never. Okay, what else? For crystal number three. Oh, I got the last two together. Okay. We have, I am extremely grateful to have you in my life. Absolutely. Yeah, they love you and they're extremely grateful for you. Loving you has given me the hope and inspiration I needed. Ah, inspired action. Yeah, loving you has really helped this person to be inspired to change. To And I don't mean change who they are. I mean change circumstances that were maybe no longer serving them. Okay, um, maybe where they weren't choosing themselves or whatever the case may be. But your love has really helped them to grow. Okay, just like their love has helped you to grow. All right, crystal number three. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.